school. <laughs> I suppose some boys might call it a prison. And whichever way you look at it, it does sometimes look like one. Windows, lots of windows, all staring grimly down at you. And corridors, bleak and bare, drifting into the distance. But school never looks its best on Monday morning, when you arrive and climb up the stairs, wondering what's in store for you for the rest of the week. You open the door and go inside, feeling a little bit grim. The classroom door opens for you. And in you go, wondering about the homework that you haven't done and the homework that you've done very, very badly. But soon it's time to, to go into assembly. And somehow then you realise that school isn't just you, but there are lots of other boys as well. You try to sing as loudly as all the rest, not always in tune. And you listen to the reading. But it's the same as it is in the playground. It's more boys, lots of them all together in school, pushing and shoving, all different sizes and shapes, pulling and struggling, testing their strength, and sometimes huddling into a corner secretly. But school, of course, is lessons as well. This is an English lesson. Pretty dull stuff, English, most of the time. Verbs and pronouns and clauses and infinitives. But sometimes there's a spark of life in English too, when we get together in groups and start to draw pictures as well as write. And of course, sometimes we've got to look up books to try and find out all about these pictures. And when we look up books, we often find a lot more than we were looking for. Now that's the one. And we take it back to our place and start to copy some of the stuff down. And here's another subject, technical drawing. Doesn't sound very exciting, but there's some pleasure to be gained by doing things with precision. Getting your lines just right and some of the measurements working out properly. Geography. The map unrolls and there's a pattern of colours. And then those colours become countries. All those countries become dreams too. Warm countries, sunshine beating down upon you, desert islands, palm trees, the tropics, or perhaps the Arctic wastes that we dream. But science, science is much more factual. You weigh things up, And you measure things. But above all, there's a great sense of discovery about science. You feel you're always on the on the threshold of finding out something really new. But this is much more interesting for most boys, doing things with their hands. Things that you don't get a chance to do at home. But here they, they encourage it, and we take the chance. Getting things ready for painting, and doing the painting as well. It doesn't matter if you slap it on a bit. Now this, this was something that was really worth doing. We went right outside the school and we we started to build a, a raised garden for the spastic unit. Those youngsters don't find it very easy to 
dig on the ground and so we decided to bring the ground up to their level so that it would make them easier, it would make it easier for them. And so here we are laying the foundations for this raised garden. It's beginning to grow now. And the youngsters are very interested to see what's happening. And sometimes when we saw those youngsters, it made us realise perhaps that we were pretty lucky. There's satisfaction in building. You can see some results of your labour, of course. But for us in this one job, there was more than just the physical satisfaction of doing the job. There was this sort of satisfaction when it was all over. And we could see the youngsters there, tending the garden and getting some enjoyment out of it. Yeah, that was worthwhile. Well, back in school, we're making things again. This time in the art and craft room. Pottery. And when you decorate a pot, you can put almost anything on it. Nobody seems to mind. Even the shape of the pot doesn't matter. The pleasure in feeling the clay. If you mould it to the shape that you hope will come. And when it's finished, you put it up amongst all the others. That's yours. And you can look at it from time to time and know it's yours. There will be paint there too. Some of the pictures aren't very recognisable. But they're fun to do. This is a metalwork room. And here, I suppose, when you're in there, you think to yourself, well, we really are doing something that might be worthwhile when we leave school. There's a lot of satisfaction in playing about with metal. And working with care. And once again, getting some kind of result. It's a busy place, a metalwork room. What the noise. And the fire blows and it makes it seem even busier because of that. Sometimes you break things up. We get some old cars and sit them down. Take out some pieces. Like this old bus. And there goes the engine. I did another job, this time in the school. It was a long time, but then we did a lot of it. Digging out the foundation for a wall at the end of the playground. So far, it was pretty hard work. We didn't mind. Once again, we were all working together, a real gang effort, putting the cement into the foundation. And it is a lesson that lots of people enjoy. It is drama. I mean, when the weather's fine, we go outside with it. And it can be fun when you do this sort of thing. The boys are learning a fight sequence. The boys don't need to be taught how to fight. This time, they're taught how to do it by numbers.
Well, it's only that it's more fun for the boys and the people who are watching it. Maybe it might look like all together. And then, well, come on, Phil, can't we all have a go? And of course we all do. After school, we somehow do a lot of things. For instance, we do some archery. Being a bit like Robin Hood. Most of the eyes get somewhere near the target. And all the walls growing at the end of the playground there. Up goes the suffering. Before very long, the concrete, the concrete will be poured in there. One section's already completed. And once again, we've got the same satisfaction of seeing the dog grow as we do it. It's a back-aching job like this, but you really don't mind if there's lots of you doing it. Hey, here we are, coming out like Bengal lunches. Ready for a bit of instruction in javelin time. We all managed to stick in anyway. And then it's put in the shop. This can be fun too when it's a nice sunny day and it's warm and you can do it outside. Much more fun than in, than in the gym. Now, we do the Duke of Edinburgh Awards scheme at school. When it first came out, I suppose most of us didn't think very much of it, but it's funny how it goes on. Yeah? We learn a lot about camping and Doing things out of doors. Cooking as well. Not quite so good as mum had. And all this preparation, electing tent, learning how to cook, led it on to our trips to other parts of the country. This is a trip we did in the, in the Lake District. It looked a bit grim, doesn't it? And yet, funnily enough, we all enjoyed it. It was tough, but we got to know each other a bit. Funny how you do get to know each other on mountains, even when you're climbing up them like this. You're on your own when you're doing something like this. And that gives you a great sense of responsibility to yourself. There was a canoeing trip we did too. Down on the River Thames. This was the party. And that too was something which widened our chances of going out initiative, showing what we could do if we wanted to. It was fun too. And still the wall goes on being built. Many time now for that suffering to come away. 
and do what we got left behind. Let it, let it all die. We hold our breath now. Yeah, it feels alright. The clean on the sea, boating and sailing and canoeing and asking. You might go home, but this is one. We are getting it out now and ready to live it. And then there's going to be the maiden voyage. And when the mast went up for the first time, I thought it looked like a real boat. It really did look much like a real boat inside the workshop. But then it outside, and it seems to take on a special kind of use of its own. And then came the car. Carefully carrying it down to the ship way, and into the water. The baby doesn't think. No, it didn't. It has to tell a few of the Yes, he is watched over by the rescue boat, standing with a light breeze, a lantern made by a boat. Yes, he is watched over by the rescue boat, standing with a light breeze, a lantern made by a boat. Yes, he is watched over by the rescue boat, standing with a light breeze, a lantern made by a boat. Yes, he is watched over by the rescue boat, standing with a light breeze, a lantern made by a Look back on your two days and you're quite sure that they were coming, every one of them. It was a very good sight like there. You know, you know, to me, the flat town and lovely blue city. Out like a cloud of hot fire, maybe. Yeah, I think it is as well. Because on days like this, when you think there's nothing, it gives more pleasure than nothing. And it's got to come to an end, like every other good thing. And it's it's cool. And then it's all leading to. What is it? All do for that. Oh, I do. I got bored. It makes you think. Now, what sort of job we're going to get? What sort of job we want? And whether we're going to be happy about it. Now, I can't ask you. Maybe it's advice. Advice, but sometimes it can't. And here we go, on our very first step, out of school and into life, grown up life. Thinking about the future and the sort of job that we want to do. 
all the things that we've done at school that added up to something. Now we're going to see what it adds up to. We're going to prove it in our time. Who's been done? Can you remember that? 